Hey, YouTube. Well, I got my grill back so I can come and talk. <laughs> what I want to talk about today, that's so funny. I want to talk about this this thing with HUD. That now they're saying that a, a public homeless shelter can refuse uh, accommodation to transgender people. I think it's just the craziest goddamn thing. Listen, I live in San Francisco, so... The laws here are probably better than any other um, city in America, perhaps. I'm sure other big cities, you know, they try to address the issues. But um, discriminating against people, making it illegal. Now, I'm, here's my question. They say this new rule is going to state that people can deny people access to those services based on their religious belief. My belief, my answer is, my question is, whose belief? Are, are you talking about the, uh, the minimum wage person at the counter? Should they be able to refuse a transgender person access to a place to lay down because of their religious belief? Is it the owner of the shelter? Are there such people who own, actually own these shelters? Should it be their religious belief? Whose religious belief? HUD, the whole program's religious belief? Isn't Ben Carson a, a ardent conservative? So should we go by his religious belief? This is crazy as hell. Maybe some people, people don't care about things that don't affect them directly. But there's a crisis in the LGBT community. A crisis with these transgender people constantly being killed, murdered. A lot of it is because of, 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 is because of prostitution. People are forced into prostitution. People have live desperate lives. You don't. They, they can't even get access to a shelter. Imagine what how what kind of den, a denial they experience trying to get an apartment, a place to live, a roommate situation. What are these people supposed to do? America, many of us, you don't even want them to use the restroom. You said no, go in the men's restroom. They can go in the men's restroom looking like a girl. Putting their life at risk again. We know there's ignorant people. There are drunk, drunken people. There are teenagers. There's all kind of people out there. But you're going to force them to go into that situation, not giving a shit that they live or die. Right? I'm, I hope I'm just telling the truth. You create this this place where it's it's. Let's talk about San Francisco. San Francisco. You go into any public service type place. Any place where you get, uh, where there's nonprofits, you're going to find transgender people working there, having regular jobs, not in prostitution. You're going to find uh, clerks in stores that are transgender. You can find uh, teachers, not teachers, but nurses that are transgender. You can find all kinds of people because San Francisco makes an effort, an effort to be accommodating to all people and treat everybody the same. So let's put ourselves in the in the in the in this place of, of a transgender person, young person. This person has realized that they are transgender. There is something different about them. Right? Their parents are suspicious of them because of their differences in, in the way they interact with other people and the way they may dress or act many times. I'm not gonna say the majority of times, but I'm gonna say many, many times. These people are thrown out of their homes as teenagers, not even developed as adults yet, thrown into the street. People will not hire them because they are transgender, and you can tell that they're transgender. Maybe people who can pass have an easier time. But people, let's just say, they can't get a job. They can't even use the toilet. They have, to go to, they have to do all of this political stuff to get into the bathroom to take a whatever. People don't want to rent to them because they're transgender, because they're different. And you, these people are saying now that we will not even allow you to lay your head down in a public shelter. Now, what are these people supposed to do? You've created these, these, these desperate people who will eventually come across other desperate people, 
Violence will erupt. And we have another death. Because these people are not allowed to pursue a normal life. A shelter is a step up. It's something better than sleeping out in the cold. So this angers me. It angers me because the people have it so hard already. And because there's so few of these type people in the world. America, yet we something else. I, I, I keep wanting to say y'all something else, but I have to say we because I live here too. We spent all this money investigating Trump, going nowhere, millions, of, what was that, billions of dollars? Certainly millions and millions of dollars on these all these investigations that have no result, really. Waste of time. America, you should have investigated. We should know right now what a transgender person is. It should no longer be, well, what are my religious beliefs? Fuck your religious beliefs. You should know what a transgender person is. Encourage a person to reach their fullest potential, whatever it is. That's the way it should be. And I suspect it will eventually be that. You know, we, we only like to take one thing at a time, so they're not on the front burner. The trans people we continue to, continue to abuse these people and force them into this life of prostitution, which is not an easy life of prostitution. I mean, if you're a woman, maybe you can just go out and just turn tricks every night. You make a lot of money. But it's, it's hard, believe me, if you're a transgender person and you make it's the only way you can make your living because you're forced into making your living in that way. You have to be a booster, prostitute, something underhanded. They won't let you be nothing else. We should have a better understanding in America about what a transgender person is, about what they're up against. And can they be productive Americans? With just a little bit of encouragement, a tiny bit of support, just being treated like a human being. How would that hurt society? It's ridiculous. And I can't believe that now, instead of going forward, we seem to be going backward. Always all this talk about the trans community, which I want, I wish they would take a census and find out exactly how many trans people, not how many gay people, not how many LGBT people all put together. They say all put together, you're 10%. What is, the, what, what is the amount of trans people in the United States? Why we have to be picking on, on the, the tiniest group of people in America? making life harder for them should be making them easier for them easier for them to slide into America and be a part of this system pay taxes like everybody else they should be able to live in a decent place a place where they are let me end up going to some rant now okay point is we need to treat people the same how long did it take for black people to get where they can even get an apartment in a decent neighborhood. We should we know better than probably anybody else in this country about discrimination, about what it does to a person. Still trying to get ourselves together after 200 years. It's time to get our foot off these people's neck. They want to serve in the military. They want to have a decent job that pays them a decent wage. Why shouldn't they? Why is one person better than the other person? Your religious belief. Who? I ask the question again. Whose religious belief? Who works in the shelter where they can they can uh, make a decision about who in who come who can come in who can't come in? You got every kind of heroin addict, junkie, and everybody else running into shelters for a place to lay down. But if you are transgender, you know you can't come in here. So where is she supposed to go? What does it do to the mind with this kind of rejection starting at, at, at an early, early, early age? Now, there are exceptions here. I've seen, I went one time, the first time I saw it, I think I went to, uh, I was in drug program. And I went to uh, one of them amusement park kind of places. What do you call that thing? Whatever, amusement park. And I saw this family and there was this little trans kid. This kid was a real kid. This maybe 10 years old. It was obviously a boy, but he, he had no breast or anything. But anyway, he was obviously a trans kid. And he was right there with his family, right there with his brothers and sisters and his father and his mother. And they were still a family. Let's say he was a little older than that. Cause I, I could definitely identify this kid was, let's say maybe he was 12 years old. She was 12 years old. 
She was part of that family. I thought that was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Because there were all kind of people around. You know how some cities, don't deny it, now some cities you couldn't even walk around like that without being harassed, terrorized. But this family was all together, this family unit. I would venture to say this person is going to have a much, much better life than what you what we generally sentence transgender people to have. So, I rambled a little bit. This rule is ridiculous. Religious, your religious belief. This country needs to start, and they want to investigate every damn thing. Investigate people. Find out what a trans person is. Find out what a gay person is. Find out what it is. Stop having these ideas because you read in the Bible. Find out what that person really is so we can start treating people like people. You want to investigate something? Investigate that. What's a transgender person? Find some. Talk. Do studies. So we actually know what a transgender person is and that they actually are that and they can't help who they are. We should know that. Humanize these people so we can see that it's wrong to discriminate them, discriminate against them based on who they are, who they were born as. It might be one, one chromosome was off or whatever. Twisting the DNA, whatever it is, we should know by now. All right. I didn't come on here to, to rant and preach, but uh, it, seems, it seems like those are the only people that it's still okay to discriminate against them. And I hate when they say, because of my religious belief. What, what religious belief? What the hell is the Bible talking about? A, a man has to wear men's clothing. A woman has to wear women's clothing. You know, what, what, what would those people know about a transgender person? Or a gay person? What would they know about anything? What would they know about a, a television set? Anyway, I'm not going into all that. Happy Friday, people. Happy Friday. <laughs>